Well, in this video we are going to talk about a new feature patented by BMW Motorrad which seems to be installed on the new BMW R1300 GS as seen in the patent image file. This technology, which is already very common on cars, is a solution that would allow you to adjust the incoming airflow by optimizing aerodynamics. So keep watching. Subject to restyling in recent years, almost all BMW car models are distinguished by the large front mask to facilitate the entry of air into the cooling system, the so-called radiator. If you get closer, however, you notice that not all the textures of the grid are always open. This is because BMW technicians use small plastic wings that regulate the airflow, opening or closing the cracks when maximum cooling is not required, so as to optimize the vehicle's aerodynamics. The same technology seems to be arriving on motorcycles now, with the patent application presented in recent days in which the attached drawings clearly show a system with mobile fins arranged in front of the boxer engine radiator. Similar to what happens on cars, the aim is to allow cooling suitable for different conditions. If the engine works at high revs, the wings will remain open, while some will close when the unit works at low revs and does not require high cooling, thus improving the aerodynamic flow of the bike. The patent then explains that motorcycle radiators are mounted with the aim of being exposed to the greatest possible airflow, inevitably creating a significant aerodynamic obstacle. The problem is compounded by the fact that the cooling system must be designed to cope with extreme weather or performance conditions, quite different from those encountered on a daily basis. In the words of BMW's patent application, the cooling arrangement is usually designed on the basis of the maximum expected power demand, which can occur in the case of extreme operating conditions. It is still too early to tell when and if this system will actually be equipped as standard on some or even all BMW models. But the drawings attached to the patent suggest that this technology could arrive on a model in the GS range. Therefore, there is still the possibility that the long-awaited R1300 GS will be equipped with it. That's it. 